Alrighty guys, what is going on? Linky here, welcome back to another episode of the Purge. Purge, you see, this is my problem. Of the Theta SMP server, hello Mr. Zombie. I'm just gonna... There you are. I'm just gonna get rid of you real quick, but welcome back to another episode of Theta SMP. Today guys, we have a little bit of work to do now. Since the previous episode, obviously this was not here, and this is what we're going to be working on today. It's gonna be a very work-oriented episode. What we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be working on, finally, a storage room to the base. So if you go under here, I've already begun work, kind of carving everything out, getting everything set up with it. It's going to be nice. Now, I've run into a bit of a problem when I was working on this. One, it's not deep enough, so we're going to have to work with the water here. But two, there's a giant ravine under my base. So the, the problem then becomes... Does this release sand? No. The problem then becomes I need to... Kind of patch this as I go. So that's going to be what we're working on today. And we're just going to be talking about a couple of things in this video. Now that is the 1.8, 1.8, 1.9 update. Now 1.9 comes out next week. I am so excited. It's going to be an absolutely amazing update. If you guys haven't seen some of the pre-release videos, go check them out on some other YouTubers channels. I know a lot of people have been doing some coverage of 1.9. The update, the stuff that they're doing with this update, it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. And I might, I might do my own little pre-release video coming later in the next week. So next week I might do one. We will have to see. Um, I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to be doing it. But if I do, it should be coming out next week. So 1.9 is going to be amazing. One, the new combat system is so much fun. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be updating to it on uh, the server yet. We're going to have to figure it out. Um, as of right now, I don't think the vote, we're like kind of deciding to ourselves, what do we want to do about 1.9? Because there, some people might be for it, some people might be against it, I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. Personally, I'm for the changes with 1.9, I'm very excited for them, I think it'll be a good change for PvP, because it, PvP's been getting kind of stale lately, so I think it'll be good for Minecraft to kind of bring a new update into play and see how it goes with that. But other than that... As we just quickly tear away this, let's just patch this up here. My thoughts on 1.9. Now, from the beginning, when they first announced 1.9, a lot of people were saying, Mojang even said this was going to be the PvP update. They were going to change as much as possible. Uh, I think everyone's on TS as well, but they were going to be changing quite a bit when it came to PvP on the serve on Minecraft. And they've definitely delivered, but they have delivered with, and I will admit, they have delivered with a bit of controversy when it controversy when it comes to what the decisions that they've made and what they've done. So if you guys didn't know, in 1.9, you know how when you hit a sword like this, when you left click, it kind of just you can spam it like that. In 1.9, you've got a hit, and then a little bar next to your uh, hot bar will charge back up. You hit. And once it goes back to full, you can hit with a full damage. If you spam it, the sword doesn't recharge as much and the attacks won't be as powerful. That's the big change with 1.9 PvP. They're also adding shields, dual wielding, new arrow types, all this kind of awesome stuff. That's going to be so much fun for PvP. And I'm very excited for it. So, I think it's going to be awesome. Now, that one that one change has been what the source of most of the controversy has, controversy has been. A lot of people, a lot of PvPers don't like this change because they think it will ruin Minecraft PvP. Now, I am not on that team. I'm not on that side of the fence because personally, I think it's time for Minecraft to have a change. I think it's been way too long since Minecraft has changed up the system and kind of made playing a lot more fun. And I think 1.9 is going to do that. Also, 1.9 is adding... Um, these uh, uh, rare items that you can only get from dungeons called Elytra. And what the Elytra are, if you, uh, I apologize if you're hearing Skype messages right now, but what the Elytra are, they are gliders. So you can get them from dungeons and using them, you can glide like through the air. And it's so freaking cool. There's going to be a lot of, I just saw a squid. But there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming in 1.9. And we're definitely, I know for a fact we are updating to 1.9, but the discussion we're probably going to be having soon is, do we want to update to 1.9? and keep the PvP changes, or do we want to go into the config and turn them off, so just like normal spam swords in 1.9? That's the argument that we're ha that's the discussion that we're having right now. There are some people that are for it, there are some people that are against it, because Mojang has said that you can definitely turn off the PvP feature um, in 1.9. So a lot of people are saying, oh, let's just do that. So we'll see what happens. Personally, if there was a vote or something, I would be for... Um, 
uh, updating because I think that would probably be the best thing. Kind of stick, since it's a survival server, stick with what Minecraft is developing. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you in the camp where you are a PvPer and you want to see PvP stay the same? Because a lot of people are saying, oh, it'll change UHC. It'll change survival games. It'll, it won't bring a good change because a lot of people won't want to play it because of this. In my personal opinion, I think the addition of the new arrow types, the shields, the dual wielding, the new PvP mechanic, I think personally... It'll make PvP a, m a lot more diverse, a lot like other games are. Like, if you look at other MMOs, it's not generally just, like, the spammy click kind of stuff. You use different magical abilities and things like that. So, that's kind of what I'm looking for with this update. Now, we're going to take a quick pause here. I'm going to work on the base a little bit. And when I come back, we should have some new stuff. Like, maybe it'll be fully finished. So, we'll be back in a second. Alright, guys, we are back. And I've done a bit of work on the downstairs, as I think I'm going to be calling it from now on. Now, I've had a couple ideas for it since... I was last recording. Oh, man, we just went to the spawn. Not spawn. What? Hello? Hello? Really? Seriously? Okay. Okay. Do I have to, like, exit out or something? Like, can I log in? All right, we're cutting again. Well, that's that's fun. All right, we're back. Login time, Mark 2. So, Theta, it's up. Click join. I believe in you. Are we good? We good? We good? Hello? Load in? Load? We good. Alright, so what I've done in the downstairs so far, I know that was such an awkward return, but we are back. So what I've done in the downstairs so far is I've made it into a basic chest room. So in here, we're going to have all of our different storage. I've got my food being stored in here right now. A uh, bunch of random stuff that I haven't really sorted yet. We can throw most of this in here as well. Arrows I'm keeping for the bow. One thing I want to get on the bow is I want to get infinity. That's going to be what I go for next with it. Other than that, we've got most of this stuff in here. I'm going to put the string in here where it goes. Chests, I believe, are right here. And that should be good. Okay, so we got a ton of arrows. So basically, I got most of the arrows from the mob grinder. But other than that, everything else, I've just kind of accumulated over playing. So I've got a couple ideas for the downstairs besides this main storage room. What I want to do is I want to possibly build pathways down this way or this way. Maybe do something where there's a button here and this opens up with pistons or something and you can go down. Oh my god, that scared me so much. We just fell in the ravine, but that's the idea. Like pistons allowing you to jump down, down this ravine into kind of like more spaces of the base. I want to make this kind of like, like a, like, like a man of steel fortress of solitude. Something like that, like a really cool underground fortress all being masked by the little brick, uh, the little square house at the top. That's kind of the idea I'm going for with the farms and everything up there. Let me know what you guys think. I think that could be a really fun idea. Like, it could be a cool um, project to work on. Are we above the hole now? Yes, we are. <laughs> Alright, let's move up. Do I have enough blocks? I really hope we do. I'm one further. Great. Alright, hang on. Let me grab some dirt. But that's the main idea. Kind of like a Fortress of Solitude underground base kind of thing underneath the main house let me know what you guys think because the idea could take us in a couple different routes one we could do that two we could maybe branch off the stairwell on the sides maybe build other rooms we could do that as well kind of make it a closer to closer to um the outside complex or we could do the ravine thing those are my two ideas right now let me know what you guys think the pig farm as you can see is coming along very nicely and sansu has set up a bit of a beacon at his base actually now that I'm just realizing it, so let me explain what happened. A couple days ago, uh, the group did a bit of a nether, we did a wither fight, not a nether fight. So we did the wither fights, um, and I wasn't home to record it. So if you want to check out any of those, I believe Gapple has just uploaded it to his channel. So you guys can go and check any of that out. Yeah, I believe a couple people are uploading it. So if you guys want to go see that, um, you can go check Gapple's channel. He uploaded it. It's not coming up on mine. Wasn't able to make it. Also, we did a little group one thing finally. Group one is starting to finally get off his feet. I know a lot of you were like, oh, it's just going to be another code. Remember back in 2015, they came out with the code. That didn't really go very far. Then we do have a beacon, and we got speed. Awesome. I donated 10 iron blocks to help us um, stuff the beacon, but it really is nice now. So there's been a lot of stuff happening with group one, with Theta, all that awesome stuff. If you guys want to check it all out, Everybody else has been uploading the stuff. I haven't been uploading it myself because I want you guys to go and check out their channels for it. Rye and Prez put out some funny moments we did with the Group 1 crew on Mindplex. You can go watch that. 
Uh, we've got the Wither event. We've got all that awesome stuff. I know this was not a very substitint substantive episode of Theta. But in the next episode, we're going to be doing a ton of, ton of clips, ton of awesome stuff. I'm really excited. Uh, SG is going to be semi-daily now with Theta and Skywars thrown in. That's going to be the main layout of my channel for the time being. So if you guys are excited, also, we're going to be building a shop pretty soon. I need your ideas, though. What should our shop be? Do we want to do when 1.8? 1.9 is actually coming out in four days. So do we want to do a like a 1.9 block kind of shop? Maybe sell shields or weaponry. A weaponry shop could be really cool armory stuff like that let me know what you guys want to see in the comments that's what i'm kind of leaning towards i'm going to be doing some grinding on the server tonight kind of just working on getting everything set up so we can record more and upload more and i think it should be good this is like an almost a eight nine minute episode so i hope you all enjoyed and as always i've been lanky and we'll see y'all in the next video peace